Well, new satellite images that North Korea suggests that North Korea could be pre preparing to conduct yet another nuclear test. The footage released by the monitoring group 38 North shows people and equipment moving around Mont Montop. The location has been used to conduct past underground nuclear tests. China and the U.S. have repeatedly warned Pyongyang against acquiring nuclear weapons. A U.S. naval strike force has arrived near the Korean Peninsula, and China has warned of sanctions. Well, Dr. Leonid Petrov is a researcher on North Korea at the Australian National University in Sydney. He joins us now live for some insight into what's happening in North Korea. Doctor, where does this next potential uh, nuclear test actually take things, especially given China and the U.S. are now speaking and North Korea is looking even more isolated? Well, the North Korea has already uh, tested five devices. Um, some were more powerful than others. Um, North Korea is usually using its isolated area in northeastern province of Hamgyong, uh, not far from the Chinese border and not far from, from the Russian big large city of Vladivostok. And despite of the uh, warnings, despite of the um, discouragement from Moscow and Beijing, uh, North Korea did go ahead with uh, the testing. For North Korea, the development of nuclear weapons is uh, at a kind of uh, psychological deterrence against potential invasion, regime change, preemptive strike. So that's why for North Korea, the test uh, per se is not as important as technically, but also psychologically, symbolically, particularly these days in April when North Korea is celebrating the uh, the anniversary of uh, the late leader Kim Il-sung. Uh, there's some symbolism to the test. North Korea is a powerful, successful uh, nuclear-powered nation, and uh, it has to be uh, dealt with appropriately. It has to be dealt with appropriately. Then what measures do you feel need to be taken? Well, North Korea is doing this uh, um, by breaching the international uh, condemnation. The United Nations Security Council resolutions are in place, which prohibit North Korea from uh, nuclear experimentations and also tests of um, you know, ballistic missiles. Still, North Korea, North Koreans believe that they need to defend themselves. Um, they believe that they are surrounded by the uh, by the circle of uh, enemies. And these days, they are literally s are surrounded by the circle of uh, quite um, substantial con contingent of troops, American and South Korean, who, are, uh, who have been training and drilling uh, just south of the demilitarized zone. Joint military exercises have been going on for almost two months. Uh, the um, air, air carrier uh, is now steaming from Singapore um, towards the uh, south, to, towards the Korean Peninsula. Uh, but that's not only American troops are there. Uh, the Russian cruise Varyak is, has also docked in okay. the South Korean port of Busan. So the plot is thickening. Okay. I, l let me ask you before I let you go quickly about uh, the psychology, actually, of Kim Jong-un here, especially versus his father. What does he want, and his, is he a more dangerous man? Well, I wouldn't say that he is psychologically dangerous or unstable or crazy or mad. It's easy to vilify Kim Jong-un. Uh, we have to remember that um, he became a leader of a, of a North Korean last uh, totalitarian communist state just five years ago. And um, just in those five years, Kim Jong-un actually managed to turn around the country's economy very significantly. Um, the policy of parallel development, um, economic and uh, military development, permitted North Korea to achieve a lot in the economic side. And also we see that North Korea is now capable of defending itself. So the challenge which now Americans are throwing towards North Korea is going to be taken, and North Korea is prepared to the war. Okay. Dr. Leonid Petrov, thanks so much for joining us there from Sydney.